What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion for Revit Structure 2024. So this time, so we are going to uh, add concrete beams. Okay, so we will use the architectural drawing as our guide to automatically add concrete beams to level 2, forming the framework of the structure. So these are the model that we have created so far so if i open up the zero two floor this one so you will be able to see here the architectural drawing so this is the imported cad drawing for the architectural model so we will be using this to automatically add the concrete beams to level two okay so let's do this so from the structure tab i'm going to select here beam so let's click that and then after that, let's check out the properties here. I'm going to change the property to a concrete rectangular beam. So I'm going to use here 16 by 32. I'm going to select that one. I can actually create it manually, like picking every intersection of my grid like that. Okay, so I can do that. But instead of doing that manually, I'm going to undo this one. I'm going to create it automatically. Okay, so I'm going to select the beam using 16 by 32 concrete rectangular beam. And then I'm going to use here on grids. Okay, so select grid lines to place beams between columns, structural walls, and other beams. Okay, so I'm going to select this tool. And then after that, I'm going to zoom out like this. Okay, so I need to select all the grids. That's why I'm going to pick from here up to here. There you go. Alright, so after selecting now all the grids, you will notice that in every intersection of my grids here, so there's the preview of the columns, right? Okay, so after that, I am going to select here finish. So that's it. So finish and automatically Revit created our concrete beam okay and then I'm going to select here modify to deselect or terminate the tool and then I'm going to select the 3d view here to see my beams there you go okay so I do not need these uh, beams here so I'm going to select this one and then hold control I'm going to select this and then after that, I'm going to delete that. So delete. There you go. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is we are going to create a new beam size to provide additional strength for a main support beam that runs the length of the structure. Okay, so let's go to zero to floor. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is let's say I'm going to select this beam here all right so let's click that okay and then i'm going to hold control i'm going to click this beam this beam and then i'm going to pan releasing the control key zoom out a little and then hold control again to select the other beams this one this one this one this one this one this one and then release the control and then pan again all right so after selecting these beams i'm going to select your edit type to duplicate okay so edit type all right so i'm going to create a new size for my concrete rectangular beam so to do that i'm going to duplicate it so duplicate so i will call this 24 by uh, 26 okay and then after that I'm going to select here okay or maybe 24 by 36 then okay all right so that's now the new type and then after that I'm going to change here my base and height so for the base for the B I'm going to make it uh, 2 feet that is 24 inches and then for the height, so this will going to be 36. Okay, so 36. Oh, sorry. Uh, 3 feet. 
So that will gonna be 3 at uh, 36 inches. Okay, so 12 plus 12 plus 12, so that is 36. So that is uh, 3 feet. So that's it for my 24 by 36. And then I'm going to select your OK. And then look what will happen here once I select your OK. And there you go. So it's now updated. Okay. So if I go again to the 3D view, so this is now how it looks like. So you see... That's my 24 by 36. Okay, so from here all the way here. Okay, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise on creating your concrete beam automatically. Again, you can do it like manually. Just pick uh, intersection points and then you'll be able to create your beam. But I prefer to create it automatically using on-grids option. Okay, so thank you for watching. Have a nice day.